In this video, I'm going to be making a game, but I'm going to be using ChatGPT to tell me what to do. I'm going to start by asking ChatGPT how to make a platform game, follow the steps I'm given, and then I'll be asking what features to add to the game next. Let's see what happens. To get started, I needed to ask ChatGBT how to make a platform game. Now, I've made platform games before, but I wanted to make it the exact way that ChatGBT told me. So, I asked, how do I make a platform game in Game Maker? ChatGPT gave me a bunch of steps on how to make a platform game. I started by creating a new Game Maker project and designing a level for our game. I downloaded some free assets from itch.io and implemented them into our game. To build the level, I used Game Maker's tile set tool, which allowed me to easily use sprite sheets as tiles to build my level. After I had the start of my level complete, it was time to create the player object. I programmed the player object and our game was starting to look like a platform game. Now, the cool thing with making this game in Game Maker is I had a prototype already after only about 20 minutes of working on the game. If you're not familiar with Game Maker, it's the game engine I use to make my games and they've also sponsored this video. The reason I use Game Maker is because of how easy it is to make games like this in such a quick time. Game development can be a long process, but Game Maker makes everything easier being an all-in-one development software. Here's a game I made in 48 hours, here's a game I made in one hour, and here's a game I even made in 10 minutes. Even if you already use another game engine, Game Maker can be a great tool to make quick prototypes for games, just to get an idea of the game loop you're going for. I'd highly recommend trying out Game Maker for yourself, which you can download for free with my link in the description. Now that I kinda had a platform game, the next thing ChatGPT said to do was add enemies. So I asked for an idea for an enemy to add to the game, and ChatGPT responded by suggesting a jumping slime enemy. I found a free asset for a jumping slime on itch io and implemented it into our game. The enemy was pretty straightforward. It was a slime, it jumped, and you basically had to time your jump to avoid the enemy. However, ChatGPT didn't say to add one jumping slime enemy. It suggested that I added different variations of the jumping slime enemy. So I added a second jumping slime, which was red and would actually move back and forth. This added a new challenge to the enemy because you now had to time your jump to avoid the enemy whilst making sure you do it before the enemy attacks you. I placed a bunch of enemies across the map and now it was time for another enemy. I asked ChatGPT for another idea for an enemy to add to our game and it gave us an idea for another enemy, except this enemy was completely different. The idea it gave us was for a dasher enemy that would pretty much dash towards the player. I found this free asset for our enemy and added it to our game. Now, the thing with the dasher enemy is that there was no way for the player to avoid it. But that's okay, I'll just ask ChatGPT what I should add to my platform game next. ChatGPT suggested that I added power-up orbs to the game. These power-up orbs would give different abilities, including speed boost, invincibility, jump boost, and a projectile. So I added each one, and here's what we got. The first power-up orb was the speed boost power-up. If the player got this orb, they would gain a temporary increase in speed. The second power-up orb was the invincibility power-up. If the player got this orb, they would temporarily not take any damage from any enemies. The third power-up orb was the jump boost power up. If the player got this orb, they would gain a temporary jump boost. And the fourth power up orb was the projectile. If the player got this orb, they would temporarily be able to shoot projectiles. I added these power up orbs throughout the level, along with different areas of the level that would need these power ups. For example, the player would need the projectile power up to take out the dasher enemy. The player would also need the jump boost power up to get past higher platforms. Now that we had enemies and power up orbs, it was time to test out the game. All right, so here we are in our AI platformer game. So let's just go through it and uh, see what happens. So first of all, we got a slime here. Now, obviously with the basic slime enemy, all you need to do is time the jump, and jump over it. Let's do that, nice. And here we go, we've got the first real challenge of the game. So as you can see, we have to sort of time this jump right, else we're going to uh, get attacked by the enemy. So let's just jump there, perfect, good. Do that again. And we lost. So as you can see, the game will just restart. So let's go through this game again and try to win. All right, there we go. So we've gotten past that slime. Now we're up to the first red slime. So obviously for the red slime, you sort of have to time the jump while avoiding the enemy. So go for it now. Nice. All right, and down here we have our first power up. So as you can see, 
It's a projectile power up. So as soon as I get this power up, I should be able to shoot projectiles for a temporary amount of time. The only thing is I need to run forward quick because there's a dasher enemy ahead. And if my power up runs out, I won't be able to take them out. So let's get it. Let's run, let's shoot. Oh no, there we go. Okay, cool, jump. And there we go, we got the dasher enemy. Nice, we've done it. So let's continue through the through the level. Here we go. Our projectile power up has run out, but that's all right, because we're about to get another one here. As you can see, this is the jump boost one. You need to use that to jump up to these platforms. Now you also need to sort of time it so that it doesn't run out before you, before you don't get past that enemy, which, yeah, okay. There we go, all right, perfect. Oh, quick, 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 quick. Oh, nice. All right, so that's the invincibility power up. And then we got the speed power up. And this is pretty much uh, pretty much the end of the game. So overall, even though we didn't have a lot of features in our game, from adding what ChatGPT suggested, we ended up with a pretty interesting platform game. The enemies and the power-ups certainly made it challenging, but it was a good start to a game. Thanks again to GameMaker for sponsoring this video. If you'd like to check out GameMaker, you can do so with my link in the description. If you enjoyed this video, please be sure to leave a like. You can also leave a comment, and if you're new to the channel, feel free to subscribe. Peace.